So by the end of this resource, I hope you will have gained an appreciation of why we hurt and how pain protects us from injury, um, how we feel pain and how the sensory and nervous system works, how diabetes damages the nerves and impairs the feeling for pain, and how neuropathy underlying complications in diabetes such as foot problems and amputations. I think it's quite helpful to understand the importance of pain if you look at a disease that individuals are born without the feeling for pain, which is called congenital insensitivity to pain. These individuals, they suffer lots of injuries and self-mutilation through their lives. So for example, we have the mother of a four-year-old patient who says, foot injuries began as soon as she started to walk, she would step on an AO and not bother to pull it out. If she twists an ankle, she doesn't limp, and so it twists again and again. This is not the only type of injury we have, so for example, here's um, another patient with skin loss due to scratching, another one with uh, self-amputation of the lips, because self-biting quite uh, frequently amputates the, the tongue tip, the fingertips, and the lips of uh, patients still in their childhood. Other common injuries are burner injuries and noted infections, damage to the eyes due to foreigner objects in the eyes that goes unnoticed. And these kids often die it's still in childhood uh, due to injuries and also illness, infections. And when they do make it to adulthood, they accumulated many deformities, amputations and fractures. So for example, here's a patient age 15 with a loss of tongue tip and another one age 27 with finger loss of the fingertips. So as we can see, living without pain is extremely dangerous and pain is very important for self-preservation and survival. In healthy conditions, pain prevents injury. Um, so for example, in the situation where you are about to step onto a nail, as you step into it, you feel the pain, so you retract your foot. So the pain in here is a very important step into acknowledging the danger and also triggering reflex responses. If we cannot feel pain, what happens is this uh, object will go unnoticed, there will be no sensation, no pain, no attention to it. Uh, it will not trigger any reflex responses So and you won't be aware of it. So you will continue to walk normally as if nothing was happening. So the object penetrates deeper and deeper at every step. So as we can see in the same example, the pain prevented an injury, the person was fine and uh, without pain we had injury because we had no awareness of hazards and no reflex responses. The good pain because in healthy conditions it will detect harm, it will make you conscious of it, it will trigger reflex responses and it will limit or completely prevent injury. And the lack of pain does exactly the opposite, so no detection of, of the harm, no reflex responses, no awareness of, of it, and injury is facilitated. So okay, pain protects us, we saw that, but how do we feel pain? That's what we are going to see next, and then why does it stop working in diabetes?